Hey there, signs of cancer. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hours uh, reading. So thanks for liking, sharing, subscribing. Let's call in your spirit guides, angels, higher self, higher power to get some of these. These are called, these are called, um, the dreaming totems. Yeah, dreaming totems because the totem is on the back. That looks like a keyhole, doesn't it? Okay, so the first one is commitment. Ask yourself the question you often ask everybody else. What do you need? Listen to the answer and respond actively and committedly as you do for others in your life. Okay, love. Before you can truly love another, you need to open your heart and allow yourself to receive love first. If you open your heart to love, then it will flow into your soul. A reassessment. Time to take another look at this situation. There are many possibilities. However, each possibility will lead you to the same outcome, so you have nothing to lose. All right, so that's that. Now we're gonna get some, let's get some epiphany cards and sacred signs and symbols. We get a few of these for our sign cancer. Please spare it and thank you. I'm just gonna do a few oracle cards, then I get into a Celtic cross for you. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, okay. All right, I think it's these because I just happen to like catch those. So I definitely think they're probably yours. All right, Cancer, let's see what we've got. All right, there's the maze card. You're either figuring something out or you feel confused and lost in a maze. Maybe that's how you feel life is at the moment or a commitment. It says to develop a strategy and then you might also be the mastermind. So the person that you know, comes up with all the things for a group to do. The mastermind, the one who thought it up. Yeah. This soul bond is sacred. This soul bond is sacred. No ordinary love. No ordinary love. Back to the good old times. Back to the good old times. Leather belt, feeling tied down or restricted. Having some boundaries for some issue of having to have a boundary up. Distance between you and something else and something feels trapped because of responsibilities. Fancy pink sandals, empress beauty and fame. This might be a person in your life or you building something from scratch that is very successful, very lucky. The Empress is also the mother figure. She births things to life. <laughs> and maybe this is talking about how in the past you had some reckless times because I don't, I'm not feeling that with all of this. I'm not really feeling this energy. This is like Knight of Wands energy to me. It says race car, reckless, impulsive, immature, and wild. That might be, uh, you know, somebody might remind you of those days, the good old times. All right, let's get a card, an oracle card from the Shaman's Dream for our sign of cancer, please. Next 48 hours. Oh, wow. Wow. You have the magic. You have the magic. You have the confidence in your magic. This means, this is good things, okay? This means you found the resources to do what you need to do, and you're very um, good at doing that. You develop a strategy, and now you have the truth, the absolute truth that you can create whatever you want to create because you're divine and you're part of like the unified field here so magicians 
sword, confidence in your magic. The more your confidence soars in you, in yourself, the more you see it, people um, having confidence in you, the more you'll see that mirrored. Oh my gosh, you've got, seriously, you have to love this reading already. The fortune's will, it's about luck and right timing. And the magician's sword, confidence in your magic. You're having the luck um, and the good karma to be able to create whatever it is that you want. And you have the truth, like some esoteric or hidden knowledge. Wow. All right. One more. I want to do the angel numbers. I'm really curious to see what's going to come out. This is an excellent reading. This is excellent. Fourteen says you are open-minded and always up to try something new. Yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure that your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. Oh my gosh, really? Look at that. <laughs> We're going to take that for sure. Then that's a multiple of seven, three. All right. <laughs> that is so super lucky. Super lucky. Um, 111. The angels are ready to fully support you in this endeavor so that you can co-create with the universe a life you love. And, and that is what the magician's sword, the truth, is revealing here. And the, the wheel is like, well, yeah, fate and destiny are coming, but it's something that you're wanting to create for you co-creating with spirit and then look at that seven 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 you're in flow meaning your manifestations are starting to come a lot more quick um and maybe you've noticed this that you're able to manifest um you know signs and things that um let confirm let you know that you're on the right path it's like we're getting used to a magical life so 77 is it's time to move on from old patterns habits and fears Now's the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambition. This is after you've really worked on yourself, Cancer. This is after you've gone through something um, hard. And it's saying, look, now you're ready. Go after your dream. And I think you know that if you want life to be about dreams coming true, then that's your perception and that's what's real. That is what's real to you. All that matters is finding your truth and then creating it and living in it. All right, the tarot. All right, so let's get, um, and then this could be anything, guys. This is a general reading, so it could be about love coming in. You manif you're manifesting something, and it's strong, and you know. It's like you have that, and um, now you have a feeling in your head like I know I know when, what's coming and I know approximately when I guess but you don't worry about the details because you let control go to spirit because they want to see you succeed they want to you see to see you on top of this horse being lifted up and um, applauded recognized for what you've done or did this is good your need is a need on your level, no, I don't know if it's a need. It might be a want to have this victory. And maybe you didn't think you were ever going to have it. And that's what it represents here, is your extremely lucky victory. What is the challenge here to your victory? The full... So... Yeah, you, eventually you're going to get away here and you're going to start this new beginning. Um, that will be what you consider your victory. That's it. That's what I think that is. It might be Aries. Make sure you stand up and defend yourself. Speak your truth is what it's saying. Whew. Okay, what is the heart of the matter here? Heart of the matter. Okay, King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody that feels like they're a failure in this department with 
husband taking care of the business, taking care of the money, um, really stable, like you, you feel like something didn't, wasn't as successful as it should have been, then maybe that's what you're wanting to change here with the fool. I don't know, it could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then like we said, we have Aries. So let's look at the past position. Whoa. Past position was Ace of Cups. So in the past, there's this new beginning when you stepped into something, maybe back then, back when, and it felt like it was gonna bring you a lot of emotional fulfillment. I mean, maybe you were truly feeling something from the future and that's why you felt like it was really great. It might be something that you got away from though. All right, the present energy for Cancer. Oh, you're working on coming out of your pinnacles. So you're working on coming out of your pinnacle energy, okay? So you, you want to be the uh, master at business, okay? So you're trying to make this work. Either it's about running a household, like I said, the patriarch of the family, or making something work that previously was abandoned, that you previously decided to put off or postpone. This could be a temporary financial situation too. Look at it that way of coming out. All right. This might be about giving to others too. Oh, good. All right, near future is coming out of worry and being extremely focused on what you want. You want a new opportunity here, maybe with the soulmate energy or um, with your family. It could, it could very well be family. All right, how are you feeling? How are you feeling? Mm, you're feeling like people are arguing over petty stuff. You don't, you probably don't agree with the way they're arguing. Your external circumstance is a blessing in money here with the Ace of Pentacles. There's just something that came in for you or is here now. And it's like begging you to start and walk through this. It's all, I feel like it's already, some of it's already paying off. I really do. Because that's why the present energy is out of that energy. All right. So what card represents the hopes and fears of Cancer? might be about money <laughs> don't fear look you got two wheel of fortunes seriously yeah you got two wheel of fortunes because you've been thinking to yourself and you don't really you you don't like the contrast you're seeing when you're comparing something to something else you're wanting something different and the wheel of fortune is here twice meaning there is some things that are working for your better good and some maybe surprises and blessings coming up this is all about divine timing and luck it's truly good karma maybe for something that you really worked on hard about yourself and was successful too wow hmm okay uh what is the outcome here Wow, I can't believe that. That's I've never gotten a reading with two Wheel of Fortunes. Okay, so Queen of Cups might have been in the past. Maybe we celebrated more in the past. Maybe there's no celebration right now over something. The Queen of Cups represents maybe this gift of love. Maybe it was somebody who was really good to provide you an ear that really listened to you. Um, that paid and gave you like the attention that um, shows genuine interest, genuine love. This could be like a therapist too. And it can also represent holistic healing, something like with energy healing. All right. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Either a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius isn't present at the moment. Or this Queen of Wands is kind of the opposite of who she is really is um not bold in fact scared a little scared i don't know why but we'll get um we'll get the little tarot and try to so genuine love compassionate love listening skills 
interest, genuine interest. Whoa, what I did. Oh, look, I knocked it off and I got the lovers. They just flew off. The lovers and the page of cups. There's hope in this partnership. There's hope in this partnership. All right. Let's see, Tara, what would you like to, um, what would you like to clarify here with any of these cards? Got her again. I'm thinking it's this. I think it's all those. Oh, okay, so we have Queen of Swords. Really being after your target, getting what you want, finding the truth about a situation, maybe realizing how you feel about a situation. What is the truth? Don't lie to yourself. Don't deny things to yourself. Queen of Swords, energy, able to get what she wants. There is going to be an equal give and take exchange here with this um, petty arguments and stuff like that. There is going to be something, it could be a court thing. There's something that's going to be evened out. Okay, something's going to be made fair. Coming out of Five of Pentacles again. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this is, okay, I think this is past to future. So we have Knight of, Pen or King of Pentacles, sorry. That's the person who's the home person. And that seems to be the heart of the matter. And that is right side up. So it gets turned right side up. Then you have Knight of Cups. This can represent a water sign or an offer coming in that is a genuine offer you're either giving or receiving and then five of pentacles coming out of that the hermit in the reverse the reason you're coming out of the five of pentacles is i feel because when you come out of this and you experience this for a while then you're going to want to turn these over the reason they're even present is because it's something that you're thinking about something you're thinking about manifesting it has to do with travel maybe issues with travel balance it has to do with achieving balance that's really important so it will turn right side up it will it just has to be in this energy for a while and the hermit it's like you'll have um some time for yourself i feel like some time for yourself can't make a decision at the present moment, having a hard time making a decision. Um, feeling split, maybe postponing something, pre procrastinating. New start with maybe this Queen of Cups character. The Ten of Pentacles. Oh, oh, and it went up, look, it went up right and it landed on the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is a partnership opportunity that either it's, you know, it's general, but it can be career or romance. It offers great stability, harmony. It's your Ten of Pentacles coming up. This is that uh, energy around. You're di For some reason, you're losing hope on this fight on this fight maybe it's an inner conflict okay it's because you're waiting for good news that hasn't come yet and you're losing hope about a situation but it'll be okay people will stop fighting soon all right guys so that's what i've got for you um that's your reading i hope you enjoy your next few days thanks for joining me sending you love and light Bye bye